All right, peeps, here we are at problem number two. We have to determine the pH and percent ionization of a solution of 0 0.00400 molar HF. So they give us a Ka value for that hydrofluoric acid, the HF. Awesome. But when I'm looking at this, the HF is not one of those six strong acid. It is a weak acid. So <clears throat> because it's a weak acid, it does not completely dissociate. I can't just use this molarity to determine the pH. Instead, I got to go through this scheme. And, and the scheme <clears throat> is we need to start with a balanced net ionic equation. And, and from there, we determine what kind of problem are we dealing with. Is it just a strong acid, strong base? Weak acid, weak base? Yep, we got to do weak acid, weak base. We're probably going to be doing an ice table from there. We're not dealing with uh, this weak acid or base mixing with a strong acid or base. So we don't have to do stoichiometry. Let's write out this balanced chemical equation and then go to the ice table because they gave us a K value. That's very nice. And then from there, we can answer these other things like determine the pH from the H plus uh, concentration. Uh, and then determine percent ionization. We'll talk about that. So <clears throat> here we go. When we have HF, we're going to write out a net ionic equation for it. But this is a solution of HF. When they say it's a solution, it's aqueous. But anytime we have a weak acid or weak base, we are going to react it with water. H2O gets liquid. Because it's weak, it's in equilibrium, so we have the forward and reverse yield signs. And we're, uh, when this dissociates, it dissociates into F minus, aqueous. Because that's an acid and it donates the proton to the other uh, substance, you are left with F minus. And, and then <clears throat> because this is the other substance, and when that proton dissociates, it combines with water. We get, oops, sorry, H3O plus. Aqueous, a hydronium ion. Okay. So this is my equation. There are no uh, spectator ions. It's all con uh, there. So <clears throat> no spectator ions. We're good. Then we're going to... Uh, use this concentration in an ice table because that might be the concentration of HF that started with, but it's going to dissociate under equilibrium. So we need to put this in here. When I'm setting up my ice table, I want to make sure that I am very specific about what units I'm putting in here. I can use molarity or moles in an ice table. I'm putting molar up here as a clue to me later on so that I know what it is that I had. And then uh, you'll kind of see on later problems that can sometimes be really important. And because we have H2O a liquid, no liquids are in my equilibrium constant, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but my F minus and H3O plus, we're going to assume that those start at zero. The H3O plus it is technically in neutral water, 1.0 uh, times 10 to the negative seventh, but it's really close to zero, much smaller than the stuff that we have here. So we are assuming that it's zero, and that's okay to do. And then for the change, we know that we're going to end up making products. So this is going to decrease by x. It's just 1x because the coefficient here is 1. This is going to add x and add x because each of these has a coefficient of 1. Then at equilibrium, we say it's 0 0.00400 minus x. Over here, we just have x and x at equilibrium. And remember that E means the equilibrium. So <clears throat> here's my, that stuff. Then to actually solve for this, because I want the pH, I need this concentration of H3O+. Plus. I can figure out pH after that. I'm going to need to solve for the X, but I need to do that in means of the Ka. And when we have Ka, the A stands for acid, and this equation, I want to make sure, goes along with it. Because it's acid, 
H3O plus or H plus needs to be as a product over here, and it is. If it, I had OH over here, that is not Ka, that is Kb. Okay? So Ka, you have H3O plus or H plus, Kb, that's OH minus. Yep, that's kind of what it is. And then <clears throat> it's equal to the concentration of F minus over the, or times the concentration of H3O plus minus, or blah, H3O plus over the concentration of HF. There's my uh, equilibrium expression, and now I'm putting stuff in 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth equals X for the concentration of F at equilibrium, X for the concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium, and 0 0.00400 minus X at equilibrium. So <clears throat> when I solve out for X, if I leave this uh, here, uh, as minus x and try to multiply it over, you'll find that you'll uh, get something really ugly because then you'll have a quadratic, you'll have x squared, x over on this side. It gets really messy. Remember that when you have uh, an exponent for the Ka value of negative 4 or to the negative 4th or less, that you could prob uh, probably just assume this minus x goes away. So anytime that you have plus x or minus x in here, you could cross that out. And now it makes solving it out a little bit more simple. So we have 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth times 0 0.004. And if I do that, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth times 0 0.004. That's cool. And then I need to take the square root of that because I'll get x squared. Two point six four times ten to the negative one two negative six, and then I got to square root that, and that's where we get one point six two times ten to the negative third is equal to x. And now that I have this value for X, that is my H3O plus concentration. So now I can solve for pH. It's equal to negative log of H plus. It has to be concentration, which is important because this was in molar. This is also a concentration in molar. I can put that into this equation right now. If it was moles, that doesn't work. I'd have to figure out the molarity. And so... <clears throat> My pH, it's going to equal negative log. And remember where you see H plus, it means the same thing as H3O plus. And we get 1.62 times 10 to the negative third. So if I take the negative log of that, I get for a pH equals 2.789 or 2.79 for the pH. Because I have two sig figs right here, there's three sig figs here, I can only have two sig figs in my pH, and for pH, it's funky because it's only the numbers after the decimal that count for pH. It is, it's weird, so don't worry so much about it, but that's my pH, 2.79, and that's that part. And yay, we were right. Then for percent ionization, we're gonna <clears throat> come back and deal with that. But percent ionization, just like with any percents, it's a percent. And we should know how to solve out for a percent. So I'm going to kind of erase this stuff that we had and keep this uh, value that I had for x. For percent ionization, any percent is a part over the whole. And for percent ionization, oh, n times 100. And... You're talking about the ion that's produced. You can talk about this F minus or the H3O plus, but we'll just kind of go with for the acid. It's this conjugate base part over the original HF. This is at equilibrium. So you're trying to figure out how much it's actually dissociating or what percent is dissociating. So 
my percent of a minus at equilibrium, it's the conjugate base, it's this. It's my value that I got for x. It's 1.62 times 10 to the negative third molar divided by the concentration of HF, the original. So it's not this right here. It's what we initially started with. And, and maybe that's probably what I should put in here is initial. Sorry. So divide it by 0 0.00400 molar. And then I multiply that by 100. If I do that, uh, let's do that divided by 0 0.004 times 100. I get 40. 0.62, but again, because I'm dealing with, uh, oh, this part we didn't have to do. Oh, yeah, we did do two sig figs in order to do that. And we should have two sig figs. So in this case, we just say it's 41%. And that's how you do a percent ionization. But again, if you're ever stuck on a percent, you guys know how to do percents. It's a part over the whole. You're talking about a part that dissociated over the whole thing that you put in there. And so that's kind of what you're doing and you get 41%, right? But that's kind of how you solve out that problem. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day, you guys.